What's going on guys, Zach here and welcome to another GameMaker tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create a wall jump feature in your platformer game. So pretty simple concept but I haven't covered it on my channel yet and that's something I wanted to do a while ago and never got around to doing it. So what I went ahead and did before the tutorial began was I created just a simple platformer. I created a room here, you know, you can jump, you know, however many times you want, basic collision, gravity, movement. These are all things that you should know how to do. And if you don't, I'll go ahead and show you the code here. So I made a player and in the step event, I have some gravity code, the left and right uh, keyboard check. And then if you're not on the left or right, then H speed equals zero. And then uh, if keyboard check pressed VK space, RV speed equals negative 15. So we just jump into the air. So pretty simple stuff in, in our block. We have our collision code here. So you know, pretty simple. You know, if place meaning x minus h speed with our block, then x is going to plus equal our h speed, and h speed is going to equal zero. So again, this is all some pretty just basic stuff that you should know how to do. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So there's a couple different ways we can go about doing something like this. Now, the first step is I don't want them. I don't want you to be able to jump just as many times as you can because then what's the point of a wall jump? So in the create event, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable can jump to equal true. And then in our step event, when we hit our space, we're also just going to check if our can jump equals true. And then if it is, then we're going to set can jump to equal false. And then in our block collision code, we're going to say can jump equals true so when we rest back down on the um, on the block there then we're gonna be able to jump again so if I go and run it that should work so now I'm hitting space and that's it so there's no more rapidly flying up the uh, to the top of the level there all right so now what we need to do now that we can control when our player can and cannot jump this is going to make it easier for the wall jump. So if we said something like if place free or I'm sorry, place meeting X plus 16 comma Y O block, we can set can jump to equal true. And you can do the same thing if we say minus 16 because I'm not using a facing variable and we run it. Now it kind of simulates a wall jump. So when you're near, this basically just though, if you're near a block, you can jump. Um, the problem with this is it's not a, really a proper wall jump because you can just spiral right up the wall there and it's really no challenge at all. What, what we really want a wall jump to be is something along the lines of grappling on and then shooting off of it. Grappling and then shooting off. You can do like a combo there, boom, you know, something like that to get the level going. Because even, you know, even if you're just like, ah, need to get up that step, it's not good. So let's go ahead and fix this. So the way I'm thinking about going ahead and fixing this would be checking exactly what we're doing now, but if we're there and we're hitting the left key already. So there's gonna, you're gonna need to go out and back in if you wanted to do something like that. So it creates a little bit more challenge. And that's very simple. We just say and keyboard check VK left. Copy this. And then we're gonna check keyboard right. We're basically going to do the opposite of what we're doing. So if we have X minus 16, that's in the left direction and we're hitting the right key. So the player has this small window to go about doing it. So now we can't spiral up the wall, but we can still wall jump. So there we go. So now he's forced, the player's forced, oh, a little bit, collision code's bad there. The player's forced now to go in the opposite direction. Creating an actual wall jump. 
so we'll run and now what we can also do for the code to make it just a little bit neater and make that window even uh, better is we can check if our V speed is within a certain range, right? So we don't want to be all the way like dropping down here. Oh, if I can do it, we don't want to be dropping down and then um, being able to save ourselves by a wall jump. If you do want that, that's cool. But we can also say if V speed is less than two. So now if we start dropping, we're not you know you've missed you've missed the window and it's done Get over there oh nope missed it come on now actually I'm not sure how I feel about the v-speed but you can play around with these values Yeah, that's also, if you don't quite make it, there's no wall jumping back to safety. All right, so that's going to be the tutorial for today. Leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's go ahead and try for 100 likes. And, of course, I will see you guys next tutorial. Peace.